and welcome everyone to a new video and today it's my thoughts on FIFA 18. Now I will have a wish list very soon. Now if you enjoyed today's video please do smash the like button, comment down below and subscribe. Let me know where, what console you're getting FIFA 18 on as well. Now when it comes to FIFA 18 I don't know what I want to change. Uh, well I kind of do. I will do it in my wish list but I know what we know so far. So legends are scrapped because the four year deal is over. So pretty much they're becoming icons which are going to be on both consoles. PlayStation 4 and Xbox which I've got both of them. So I don't know yet what console I'm going to play it on because I don't know is Xbox going to get more more than what PlayStation is going to get or is it going to be equal because we're big in the eSports now so really it's it's a hit and miss so I don't actually know what console I'm going to get it on now Ronaldo's going to be the cover star so obviously if Ronaldo's going to be the cover star that means Ronaldo is going to be the highest rated player in the game because he's going to he's going to win the Ballon d'Or this year again so pretty much he's going to be the cover star as well he's played unbelievable it hurts me to say it because I'm a Barca fan but he has played amazing back-to-back -back Champions League, so he's going to be the cover star, he's going to be the highest rated player in the game, Messi probably below him, there's a lot of other players that are going to be higher, like pumped up in ratings as well, but now icons, I don't know how icons are going to work, because when you when you look at icon, when you look at legends, for example, legends, as long as you play them in the correct position that you want to play them in, they get Ken chemistry, they get links, right, they get like, an automatic link with the nationality but they don't get an automatic like, green link with any player if you know what I mean so get a green link with a legend but don't get a green link with if say it was Root Hullet if he was linked with another Dutch player he'll get an automatic link but now icons I think there's more to icons than what meets the eye I think they're going to do something different with them I don't know what it's going to be I would like to think that it's going to beneficial the player that's going to use them and also at the same time it's going to be good as well now are we going to get all the other legends that are in the game already or is icons going to be a step up as such you see i'm thinking when i'm looking at legends and i'm looking at icons i'm thinking is icons going to be bigger so all the legends that's in the game are they going to get a bump up in ratings because if you look at the latest icons already like ronaldo uh, Cafu and all uh, that is rumoured that they're going to be in the game they're all high high rated players so is the other players going to get bumped up again now my thoughts I'm really excited for FIFA 18 like uh, FIFA 17 it's been good but what's annoyed me about FIFA 17 which I will show you in my club is that I've wasted a lot of coins on SBCs so next year I will not be wast wasting a lot of coins on SBCs I will not be doing it uh, just because like all these all these SBC players where are they like him I can't, I can't sell them I can't get coins for them you know what I mean so I'll be only buying players that I feel that will beneficial my La Liga team or BPL team they're the two teams that I'll be using in the next FIFA and I'll be beneficial doing them from that now SBCs like when you do an SBC and pack like it's at 95 then that's all good you're packing a 95 rated player so that's not bad but when you're doing an SBC like Harry Kane and you're not using them he's just sitting in your club you're thinking to yourself why did I do that you know what I mean? so I won't be doing as many SBCs next year as what I have done this year probably just because of the hype for SBCs and I've enjoyed doing them as well so pretty much that's probably why I've done them so much as well you know what I mean now on top of that on, on top of that also the graphics by the trailer looks like have improved a lot now gameplay we don't know has that improved a lot I would like passing to improve a big way um, also on top of that I would like also like strength and stuff not every player should be able to hold off every player so that's other things that I would like to improve but my thoughts on FIFA 18 are very good and very positive as well uh, also let me know down in the comments on what you think uh, icons. I like how both consoles are going to get it just because of the esports. It it makes it better for the live competitions as well. It makes it better for also um, content on YouTube because uh, if a PlayStation 4 player, if they get in the top 100 for the monthly, they can get a legend. You know what I mean? Or an icon actually, sorry. So I think it's better for that and it's more positive for the community. But also on top of that, if it's going to be on both consoles, why if both consoles are getting the same, can both consoles have the same transfer market that's another rumor that could it happen and also could you play someone that is on xbox and you're on playstation you know these are a lot of things that we need to look into and think 
in the future it could happen you know what I mean so that that's something that would really really be good and also be positive but let me know down in the comments down below and what do you think should should this happen I think it should but also on top of that I'm very positive when it comes to the new FIFA also what they've done this year with balancing the coins out balancing the market out um, also for champions the competitive FIFA divisions how you're unlocking players and daily knockout tournaments uh, the legend SBCs the SBCs in general have been legendary uh, great addition to the FIFA as well uh, the gameplay has improved dramatically from FIFA 16 even though the gameplay in some parts are bad it has improved dramatically from FIFA 16 so in my opinion it's up there with my top three FIFAs of all time this FIFA it's just the bad thing is that I spent a lot of coins on SBCs and ruined it and with my 14 million coin transfer profit uh, only for spending a million coins this week on packs I would have been able to build my dream team so unfortunately what I have to do is balance my coins out next year don't spend as much on SBCs and also do that but also thanks for watching guys let me know down in the comments on what you think uh, you're positive are you positive or negative for the next FIFA also let me know down in the comments smash the like button if you enjoyed today's content subscribe for new and I will be bringing you out on Monday a new co-op seasons with um, a new player that I recently uh, just met on FIFA probably the last two weeks or so we've been practicing on co-op seasons we've got a great record in Division 2 already unbelievable more balling also so we'll be starting off from fresh again and also he's called Brad and we'll be he's on my Twitter anyway and we'll be uh, doing a co-op season on Monday for our first episode looking forward to it thanks for watching guys and crap out